Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation 5 plus 1 over x whole to the power 4 minus 3 plus 1 over x whole to the power 4 is equal to 240. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This 5 can be written as 5 can be written as 4 plus 1 and this 3 can be written as 3 can be written as 4 minus 1. So, we write this expression as 4 plus 1 over x plus 1 whole to the power 4 minus we write this expression as 4 plus 1 over x minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 240. Now, here we have a 4 plus 1 over x and here we have 4 plus 1 over x. So, we suppose that let 4 plus 1 over x is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m plus 1 whole to the power 4 minus m minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 240. Now, this uh, m plus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as m plus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 minus this uh, m minus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as m minus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 is equal to 240. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared plus uh, 2ab. This uh, m plus 1 whole squared will become m squared plus 1 plus uh, 2 times m whole to the power this power 2 minus by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 a b. This m minus 1 whole squared will become m squared plus 1 minus 2 times m whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 240. Now, here we have m squared plus 1, here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have 2m, here we have 2m. So, we suppose that let a is equal to m squared plus 1 and b is equal to 2 times m. We substitute a and b in this equation, then this equation will become a plus b whole squared minus a minus b whole squared is equal to 240. Now, this a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab minus this a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to 240. Now, we remove this bracket then a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b this minus will change the signs of these three terms this positive a squared will become negative a squared this positive b squared will become negative b squared and this negative 2 a b will become plus 2 a b is equal to 240. Now, this uh, negative a squared will be cancelled out with this positive a squared. And this negative b squared will be cancelled out with this positive b squared. And uh, this 2ab plus this 2ab will become 4ab is equal to 240. And from here, we divide both sides by 4. This 4 will be cancelled out with this 4 and uh, we get the value of 
a times b is equal to 240 divided by 460. Now we replace this a with this m squared plus 1 and we replace this v with this 2 times n. Then this equation will become m squared plus 1 times 2 times m is equal to 60. Now we multiply this 2m by this expression 2m times this m squared 2m cubed plus 2m times 1 2m is equal to 60 and from here we can factor out 2 2 as common factor and in bracket left m cubed plus m is equal to 60. And from here we divide both sides by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2. And at left hand side we are left with m cubed plus m is equal to 60 divided by 2 30. Next m cubed plus m is equal to this 30 can be written as 27 plus 3. Now this 27, 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So we write this 27 with this m cubed and we write this 3 with this m. Like this m cubed, this plus 27 will become negative 27 at left side plus this m and this plus 3 will become negative 3 at left side is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus this 27 can be written as 3 cubed plus m minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared this uh, m cubed minus 3 cubed will become m minus 3 times m squared plus uh, 3 times m plus 9. And from these two terms uh, plus m minus 3 we can factor out plus 1 plus 1 as common factor and in bracket left m minus 3 is equal to 0. Now this expression m minus 3 and this expression m minus 3 is a common factor. So we factor out this m minus 3 and in bracket left this m squared plus 3m plus 9 and this plus 1. In bracket left m squared plus 3 times m plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. x m minus 3 times m squared plus 3 times m this 9 plus 1 will become plus 10 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression m minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 3 times m plus 10 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 3 and from this equation we find the values of m by using a quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 3 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 10 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of this 3 squared is 9 and 9 minus 40 is negative 31 divided by 2. Now m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 
this is square root of negative 31 can be written as square root of 31 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 next m is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 31 this is square root of negative 1 is equal to square root of negative 1 is equal to i so we replace this square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2 and first we found this value of m3 m is equal to 3 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 4 plus 1 over x is equal to m we have supposed that 4 plus 1 over x is equal to m first in this equation we put this value of m3 then this equation will become 4 plus 1 over x is equal to 3 and 1 over x is equal to 3 minus 4 and 1 over x is equal to negative 1 and this implies that x is equal to negative 1 this is the first value of x this is the first solution of this equation now in place of this m we write this value then this equation will become 4 plus 1 over x is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 31 times i divided by 2 so 1 over x will be equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 31 times i divided by 2 and this plus 4 becomes negative 4 at right side next 1 over x is equal to we can write the denominator of this for 1 and we take LCM of this denominator 2 and this denominator 1 LCM is 2 and 2 divided by 2 1 1 times this expression negative 3 plus minus square root of 31 times i minus 2 divided by 1 is 2 2 times 4 8 x 1 over x is equal to this is negative 3 and negative 8 will become negative 11 plus minus square root of 31 times i divided by 2 and now we take reciprocal of both sides then x will be equal to 2 divided by negative 11 plus minus square root of 31 times i this is the second and third value of x so these are the three solutions of this equation